Hi everyone, I have a, a couple of altered items to share with you today. I have this uh, picture frame that I picked up, um, I believe from the dollar store. Uh, it was all wicker on the inside here with the flowers printed on it and then a black frame. So I painted it up with my gesso. Um, I also, I'll zoom in so you can try and see here if it'll focus. I did um, some crackle accents around the picture frame. It's kind of hard to pick up. They might be able to see it a little bit there. And then I did some a um, little bit of distress ink on it to kind of let it stand out. So it looks pretty antique-y. Um, I added on the Prima Doll stamp. Made her a little white wedding dress and a bouquet of flowers. These are from I Am Roses, the large rosebuds. Um, this is a sticker from K & Company that I've had in my stash for quite some time, so I added it on here with some really light pink and white twine. Wrapped it around the whole frame and added in some flowers. The, um, the little ones were from Mona Me Gabby. This is Craft Supplies 1 and then the leaf is, um, actually there's a little white rosebud in here too. Oh, you got crushed from I Am Roses and these, I'm not sure where they're from, um, my friend Judy gave them to me so thanks Judy. Uh, so there's that. I added in some pearl trim on the corner here just from my stash from Lens Mills uh, and there's some more flowers and trim up here. Just a nice sweet simple frame um, for one of my coworkers that's getting married. Doesn't seem to want to focus. <laughs> Okay, so that is that one, and then I made another um, camera from the balsa box from Michaels. Um, I had started out painting this one um, a red because I wanted to make a red camera, and I ended up trying some of the texture spray stuff that um, JB Lady JB Lady Scrapper has been doing. Um, with glimmer misting and goosebumps, you can see all the texture in there. So I, I started doing that on top of the red metallic paint that I had on there. And it really started looking kind of ooey gooey and <laughs> sad to say, but it reminded me of blood. <laughs> and I'm kind of a big Twilight fan. I hate to admit it, but I'm a huge Twilight fan. So I made this a Twilight camera. Yep, I got suckered in. Uh, try and do it without the glare here. I just found this picture off of um, the internet, printed off on some white cardstock, um, and just framed it in there. And I used some clear acetate to make it into a shadow box. And you can kind of hear I have some of the little tiny um, Martha Stewart glass beads in black in there. There you go. And then that acrylic flower, and there's also a little um, heart bead, and a tiny black rosette in the back corner there. And then the inside is rimmed with some pearl trim, and actually some black yarn to make it thicker. And I made my own little frame here. This is um, a trim I got at Hobby Lobby. It's kind of a zigzag, it's not a straight but I really love the way it turned out with the netting and the satin. It's really gorgeous. Um, and then this lace is from Hobby Lobby also. Um, it's the white one and I sprayed it with the red and the and the coffee color. It's coming out more cream but when you look at it in actual real life it's reflecting the light. It's um, It really blends in with the box actually. So it's looking a little bit more um, white than it actually is. I love the texture that the goosebumps and the shimmer sprays all make. It's really neat. And then I covered the bottom and the top in the same. Um, it's actually a print from my mind's eye from one of the Christmas stacks. Um, I used the knob from the box and sprayed it with the glimmer mist, both the red and the and the coffee. And underneath is a um, flower finding from Butterbee Scraps. I really love her stuff check it out she's awesome and then um, this idea I also got from JB Lady Scrapper um, to use an acrylic diamond as a flash now I went to my hardware store 
searching everywhere for wing nuts and I could not find any. So I ended up just getting this big bolt and I put some um, alcohol inks and glimmer mists and all kinds of stuff on there to kind of grunge it up. And I added in some of the small rosette trim. This is a metal flower from Tim Holtz with a gold bead in it. On the back I added a key from Michaels and a garment pin and then this is just for my stash. Actually this is um, MB Treasurista is that and this is just some chain and bead trim that I had. And I put the uh, velcro on it and sprayed the inside. You can really see that's where I kind of got the ooey gooey blood feeling. <laughs> And I think I might make a mini to go inside, not sure, or just keep it in my scrap room. Because I kind of like to hide my true blood, or my twilight addiction. <laughs> but I really love the way it turned out. Very vintage, grungy, gorgeous. Cool. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Make a comment, subscribe if you wish, and have a great day. Thanks, bye.